sitting in camouflage next to me is the 2023 Ford Everest. And today we're gonna to get our very first experience behind the wheel. This is actually the Everest Platinum, the new top of the range trim that we're expecting to pitch in somewhere between $80,000 and $90,000 when it launches here in Australia in the second half of 2022. Now, the big news of course, is that this vehicle now has a diesel V6. Ford isn't playing around anymore. They want this vehicle to compete head to head with the Land Cruiser Prado. That means out muscling it under the bonnet. So we've got a three liter Lion turbo diesel V6 engine in this car. We don't know specific outputs, but we reckon it's about 190 kilowatts of power, about 600 Newton meters of torque. And as a reminder, this engine is also gonna do service in the new T6.2 Ford Ranger and also the new Volkswagen Amarok, which has yet to be revealed, at least today as I'm uh, talking to you, you'll be seeing me about six weeks into the future. Now, there is also a Ranger Raptor, which uses a three liter turbo petrol V6, twin turbo petrol V6, but today we'll be concentrating on this vehicle, which is the quite sophisticated, quite luxurious, Everest Platinum. Now we're only gonna be driving it off-road today. Our on-road drive is gonna to have to wait, but we have brought it here to Ford's Proving Ground at uh, the Yu Yangs in Victoria, uh, and we will be subjecting it to a fairly difficult little off-road course here for our first taste. So I've selected a car, optioned with the off-road package, 18-inch wheels, all-terrain tires, and extra steel underbody protection, which is gonna give us a hand. But before we make a start in today's video, make sure to hit subscribe down below and the notification bell. So I'm behind the wheel of the 2023 Ford Everest. This one is a Platinum specification with the three liter V6 diesel. Uh, we don't know uh, specific outputs for the engine yet, but we are guessing that it's around 190 kilowatts of power and 600 Newton meters of torque. This engine is a Lion family engine, so it's not brand new, uh, but it has uh, been rejigged for use in the new Ranger and Everest. And um, while we have driven it in the past um, in other vehicles, Jaguar Land Rover vehicles and even some older PSA cars. Um, this is my first time driving it in a new Everest or Ranger actually. Um, and to be honest with you, the feedback I can give is a little limited at the moment because as you can see, I'm, I'm crawling. I'm in four low at the moment here at Ford's Proving Ground. Um, at Yu Yang's in Victoria, we're on um, a dirt handling uh, circuit at the moment, sampling sort of moderate to difficult trails here. Now this particular Platinum has actually had its wheel and tire package changed from a 21 inch on the standard car to an 18 inch wheel and all terrain tires, um, plus you get some steel underbody protection as well. Um, I actually think that it looks really good as a Platinum with uh, chunkier tires and smaller wheels, so it's probably something I would consider doing, although the Chrome 21s are certainly new ground for the Everest as well. As well as uh, the new 3 litre V6 diesel engine, there's still a 10 speed automatic, but there's now a automatic four wheel drive system, although I'm not in four auto right now, I am instead in low range to make the best of the proper uh, low range transfer case in this vehicle and some of the hills and the and also the drops uh, on this particular circuit are, are pretty difficult um, and despite being in stock form aside from the off-roading package uh, the Everest is certainly getting it done now the Platinum is probably not the specification um, off-roaders will prefer because it is the heaviest of the lot we do have a large panoramic sunroof uh, on top of us for instance um, but it's possible that the new Everest Sport will be available with the diesel V6 engine we're not sure yet but uh, the two litre bi-turbo four-cylinder diesel will be uh, likely the entry-level powertrain uh, for Australia although a single turbo version of the same engine uh, is available in overseas markets so we're just using hill descent control now coming down a 60 percent <laughs> descent <laughs> It's not a bad little track, this one. Now, other comments on driving, got this really nice leather wrapped steering wheel, higher spec leather on the Platinum, but um, the steering's not too quick, so it's quite deliberate, um, good for off-roading. It is quite easy to make fine adjustments on the fly. Visibility out of the vehicle is also good. It's really boxy, which means we've got an excellent view out the rear window. We've got big mirrors. The view forward's good and the bonnet's nicely sculpted so it looks pretty cool 
out the front of the vehicle, although the aperture is reasonably narrow, possibly emphasized by the fact that high-spec Everests have a black headliner. So it kind of feels like you are looking out a bit of a letterbox, but on the whole, I'd say visibility is uh, pretty good. Now, we're just entering a twist section, so don't mind me as I just tilt over to about 23 degrees to the left. Tiny bit of touch down at the front end. Um, it's possible the diesel V6 is a little heavier than uh, the four pot, but um, we still have pretty good clearance here. Decent sized wheel and tire package for clearance as well. All in all, the Everest makes it seem pretty easy. Looking forward to driving this vehicle on the road. Uh, and also comparing it to, I guess, its traditional segment rivals like Fortuna and MUX, uh, but also the vehicles it's clearly designed to target uh, much more closely, like the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. Um, and we think it'll probably be priced quite similarly to Prado when the Everest is released in Australia in the second half of 2022. So it's going to follow the new Ranger to market. Uh, we're expecting Ranger still to launch around that June, July period here in Australia with Raptor and also the Everest range following after that point. Uh, we know about four trims so far with Everest, the Ambiente, Trend, Sport, and the new Platinum. And we'll be reviewing the entire range when it arrives here in Australia. So those are my very fresh, very first impressions of driving the 2022 Ford Everest Platinum Diesel V6. Now this was low speed, moderate to difficult off-road work here at Ford's Proving Ground. But over to you, let me know what you reckon about the new Everest down below the video in the comments. Are you considering this vehicle? Do you reckon it'll be worth the price when it comes out? And uh, as always, thank you for watching Chasing Cars.